Catherine Carnot, National Geographic photographer, here in the Martini Bar of the Caravel Saigon, pleased to introduce you to my photographs taken over 25 years in Vietnam from 1990 to present day. And I feel that as a photojournalist working here in Vietnam, I carry on the legacy of my father, uh, the late Stanley Carnot, who was covering Vietnam for Time Life and for the Washington Post. And in fact, right here on the third floor used to be the ABC News Office during the 60s. When I first came to Vietnam in July of 1990, the country was just coming out of the darkest years of poverty and austerity. There was no color. It was so bleak. And yet there was a sense of hope and looking towards the future. And during that same trip in 1990, I had the chance to meet some of Vietnam's illustrious characters. Pham Suan An was the only Vietnamese journalist to be on staff at Time Magazine. And yet at the same time, he was working as a spy for the North Vietnamese. Nobody had any idea, including my father. It was said that he would communicate messages to the communists by hiding notes inside of egg rolls. By the mid-1990s, you could see a real change starting to happen in Vietnam as it opened to the world. Those who had escaped were starting to come back, such as Phuong An Nguyen, who had left at the age of 13. When she came back at age 24, she opened up Vietnam's first real cool bar, the Q Bar, which in fact was right across the street from the Caravel. And today, Vietnam is exploding with a whole new energy. I was astounded when I came upon this new water park in a huge shopping mall in Hanoi. And I really think that the happy faces on these young people show a bright future for Vietnam.